welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example here we're going to look to um, classify this triangle and we can do that based on sides and angles. And in this one it's going to be based on sides. What do I mean by that? We're going to try to find the length of AB, the length of AC and the length of BC and then we're going to look if it's one type of a triangle uh, here. Isosceles equilateral. Okay, so let's start with A, B. Okay, uh, how are we going to find A, B? We have two choices. We have uh, the distance formula, or we can use Pythagorean theorem. If you take a look, we have a triangle there, like this, and one, two, three, four, five. This is five, and this is one. Five and one, a right triangle. What can we use there? Eh? B squared plus B squared equal C squared. Okay, A and B are the legs of this triangle. 5 squared, 1 squared equal C squared. 5 squared is 25, 1 squared is 1, that is C squared. So C squared will be 26. How do we find C? Taking square root. And since this is geometry, we just keep the positive one. So A, B which you see in this case is square root of 26. In fact, C, which is in this case AB. Now we're going to do the same for AC. We're going to draw this triangle and some of you may already notice this is 5, this is 1. Yeah, so we're going to end up with pretty much the same answer. Right. 5 and 1. Again, we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And 5 squared plus 1 squared equals C squared. And like I said, we get up, we get the same answer. The only difference now BC represent AC. So just look into these two guys and notice we have uh, we have two congruent sides. Right? We have AC congruent with AB. So we know as a fact that this triangle is at least an isosceles triangle. Now well, let's take a look to BC. BC, we have this triangle here, right, which is 4 by 4, right? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So uh, let's draw a right triangle. Okay. Uh, 4 by 4, and again we're going to use a square, uh, all these are C's. Okay, a square plus b square equals c square. Okay, so we get 4 square plus 4 square, right, each one is 4 equals c square, 16 plus 16 equals c square, c square equals 32, c will be square root of 32, which can be simplified, right? As 4 times 8 is 32, right? And square root of 4 is, is 2. So the simplified form is, uh, in fact, 16 times 2 is the best way. And we're going to have 4 square root of 2. This is the best form for BC. Well, we notice BC is totally different than AB and AC. So the triangle we have here. Angle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. If you enjoyed this uh, video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C squared. Thank you.